I love Masayuki, but you know what I don't like? His lackeys, bro. The t the three dudes, the two two dudes and the one girl, like his his lackeys, they low key pissing me off. The amount of disrespect that they have, I understand it's supposed to be comedic, but it's coming off less funny and more annoying. So I have one of our boys will just like dunk on that dude with the mohawk. It is the day of the festival. Tournament is gonna happen. The Coliseum. I want my boy Gata to get in there and so some work. Let's begin today's reaction. A little banquet before the tournament. It's still the day before. God damn it! It's tonight. It's the night before. Bro looks like Clayman. Bro looks like Clayman at this at, at this angle right now. The suit. He literally raided Clayman's domain and took his clothes. This is the shit Clayman would wear. If only he had a wine, like a, a glass. So everyone have fun. Come by. Festival Eve. Come on, come on, man. Like really? Last episode, you fucking teased me. And I thought we gonna have the festival, and now we have Festival Eve. All right, let's go. Let's have a fun party with everyone tonight. Shinoto Yoshida san da. Okyaku san tachi mo manzok shite ru mitai da shi, hito anshin da na. Oh shit! What are they bringing in? Aria, nan desu ka danna? Oh, hajimaru zo. Rocket? Sea fish, horse, soft fish, chainsaw fish. Yo, even Gaza was shocked. Wait, Akuro and daughter. Daughter and how could I? Yeah, he's looking like he's about to make the finest sashimi out of this right now. But look how shocked Gaza was. Like, bro, they are just utterly shocked at this fish. Is, is there some lore with this fish? Is that killed? I can't tell. It is. <laughs> sashimi, baby. Oh my god. Look at that platter. Masterful. They're scared. Bunch of uncultured monkeys, man. And I see this a lot. A bunch of dumbass Americans or other non-Asian people saying, Ew, you eat raw fish? You're so stupid. The fish is literally fucking frozen. So all the parasites and all that shit is already gone. It's edible. But you don't even know how that shit works. Bunch of normies, man. They got no clue what they're missing. Out. Look at that! Omakase! You're supposed to eat it in one bite. One single bite. Yep. Shiona proves? I'm surprised. No, I'm not surprised. I thought that they would try to make Shion cook and have people taste her weird looking food, but it'd really be good. But I guess she's not allowed to do that. <laughs> Hinata! Of course she's ready for the sushi, bro. You can handle a little bit of wasabi? Nah, bro. The wasabi is integral to it. And then a piece of pickled, like, ginger or something to cleanse the palate before you try another bite of another fish, bro. Mm-hmm. True connoisseur. Casual. I hope he snuck some wasabi in there. I want her to flare up. <laughs> She's actually gushing over the fucking sushi, bro. It's so good. I admire you. <laughs> Poison this motherfucker. Feed him some bad shit, bro. Send this motherfucker back to Ingracia. <laughs> Hinata doesn't deserve this. I was shitting on her too about the lack of wasabi. <laughs> but god damn it. Fuck you, Yuki. Fuck you. We got udon, gyoza, ramen? What do we also got? Trains, 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 trains. If we had trains, bro, airplanes too, 
like a lot of like really high end sushi restaurants that don't even exist in Japan will import their fish straight from Japan during that day because it's that fresh and good. Money, money, money. Gansel, how is it? You're not supposed to do this. If you ever do this in like an omakase place, omakase is basically a really, really fancy dining experience where a sushi chef will make these things for you. Like it's like a tall, it's like a, he's already got the menu in and you pick it. It's super expensive, but it's like a very, it's part of the experience, but it's really high grade food. And you're supposed to eat the thing in one bite. If you have a little nibble, that's like disrespectful. You're supposed to eat this shit in one bite. You are disrespecting the chef who has spent an entire fucking like four generations fucking learning this technique from his family and you're shitting on it. <laughs> I thought Hakuro's daughter was talking right now, but Gazo's voice is acting, so I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> mm -hmm. My favorite way of eating fish, definitely sashimi, sushi like this, raw. But like there's like Chinese steaming fish techniques too, which is like heavenly. Yeah, like steamed fish is amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what, what? <laughs> Large flying object. <laughs> Invasion? <laughs> what? Who is it? Yo, is this Milam? I see a dragon! Is this Milan? What the fuck is this? The Sorceress Dynasty's Tarion's Guardian Dragon King. They have a dragon, huh? I immediately thought Milan because dragon, but okay. They got the Guardian Dragon King as well. They, this thing literally has the ship. Like, it's chained to it. And he's carrying the transport. What the hell? The queen. <laughs> Look at the respect. Yeah. What does that mean? Is it super rare? This never happened before? Independent, sovereign, dynasty. Many years. 13 royal families allied to make Sarian, okay? Really? Wait, 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 wait. Like, like actually God? Like, like title by itself? Because like there's God Luminous, right? But that's like a title. Empress Elmatia is regarded as a descendant of... Regarded. Regarded. Is not, but is regarded. <laughs> Heavenly <laughs> Empress. What a name. 2,000 years. Yeah, well, Team China and Balin Temple has 4,000 years of history. Folding for the elf. Yeah, elves do live super long. Elf milf incoming. Bakemono, really? My goodness. Nice to meet you. Whoa! She just unplugged Remuda's controller there. The fuck? Mental interference. Okay. Did she just try to like read Remuda's mind and Raphael canceled it? I'm not sure. Locked. Look at that aura. Heroic presence. Okay, they're glazing her. I mean, yeah, Heavenly Empress, right? Descendant of God, regarded as. She is getting hyped to another level. Look at this aura, bro. Heroic presence. We have Mauhaki. She has heroic presence. Higher than Gazo. Gazo power crest. <laughs> yeah, everyone is. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's made a comment in the in this show of like, oh, come on, get started with the festival already. As in like one of the characters in this show to be like self-aware of how much they're stalling right now. Okay. Speak. Candidly. Ooh, you want a private convo with my vet? It's a date. Date confirmed. Hmm, Shion looks a little cuck there. 
Shion couldn't even say anything there. But Heavenly Empress versus Shion. Who would win? Is it audacious of me to think that the reality bending skills of Shion could win against the Heavenly Empress? I'm not crazy, right? I'm not glazing Shion right now, right? Am I wrong? I think I'm right. <laughs> that hag! <laughs> wow. You know how I was kind of mad. Not mad, but upset. Also, look at Shion's eye here, looking at the Heavenly Empress. But you know how I was like, yo, Gazelle? You're not even that strong, bro. Why the fuck are you being so rude and condescending? I get it. He's the big bro. He's the senpai. He's a senior. But I think that meritocracy prevails fucking how long you've been doing this shit for. But now we have a person that shuts down Gazelle just like that. Power crept. Dude, look at Shion's face. Money, money, money. Gazelle's only two claimant, and the Heavenly Empress is ten claimant, right? What? What's going on, bro? We're good? Oh, okay. We're good. My man is fucking hustling, but at the end of the day, he just chasing that money. He is a very hard worker. Who's next? They? This sounds. Is it Milim? Dolled up? Oh shit! Because like everyone does know, you know, Mao Mil. Oh, this is gonna be hype. Actually. I take everything back about how I was disappointed today was the eve of the festival, not the festival. Because now, every major player is showing up with leaders in the room. And it's going to be crazy to see how everyone kind of responds out of respect or just like be in awe of how Rimuru is like friends with them. It's just like great episode. Let's see it. Oh, Sky Queen! <laughs> I still will never let go of how Clayman pronounced their name that one time, but we got the trio. More harpies. Hey! Melon! <laughs> Red Melon! It's been a long time since the Dragon Priest! Yo! Yo! What is she doing here? What? It, what that, 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 that's, God, that's, God, that's the Rotso family lolly. That's not a lolly that has future sight prescience. What the fuck is she doing here? What? Who did she come here with? What? What? Rotso's here? I don't know. Oh, Lilu! <laughs> She don't even know. <laughs> of course, Milan's never gonna outsmart Frey, but Frey has the best intentions for her. It's like mom and daughter. The sound effects. <laughs> Show how graceful If we fed Geld pork, would that be cannibalism? If we fed Freya poultry, because RP. Chicken wing, poultry wing, descendants of chicken, somehow it relates back to, you know, <laughs> birds and shit. I don't know. <laughs> what was that sound effect? It actually went cook a little doo. <laughs> yeah. 
You want to? Uh, no, 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 no. We're saying we're no. We didn't call you chicken. We didn't call you poultry. Pulse. We have poultry dishes. Onaji da to oshiritai no ka. Sna tsumori de wa. You know what's really fucked up? There's this like TikTok I saw of a chicken being offered two options of food. The first is just regular chicken like food, right? Regular slop. And the other was KFC drumstick. Guess what the chicken ate? Chicken queen, poultry queen. Oh. oh, and everyone sees how humble and benevolent this leader is in front of Frey, bro. Apologizing. Apology, Riz. Apology, Haki. Humble Haki. Oh, you're just fucking teasing us, man? You toxic! Gaslighter! Is she? Okay. Cardi was laughing at it. Dude, that fucking talent that she has. Poultry, bro. <laughs> Sophia, so cute. So she can just activate, like, obviously this is her hand, but the other hand is regular, more human like, but on a whim she can, like, change it, right? <laughs> I'll try Milim. We're, te we're teaching Milim. Poor Pari Young Man. Sate, sate, sate. Ooh. Look at that chef hat. Midori! Is the cuisine over at the Dragon Priest place, like, good? I don't think it is, right? Like, simply even seasoning should blow his mind right now. Oh. You're not impressed? The fuck? Teaching her how to apologize? Okay. There's so much. Bro probably don't even understand the concept of what a medium rare is, bro. You don't even know the mallard process of butter basting the steak and making sure that the chemical reaction creates such a delicious crust. You're stuck in the dinosaur age eating raw meat and you dare, you dare call this an unidentifiable, unidentifiable liquid substance. The meat juices? Uh, oh, she enjoying a parfait right now with Rimuru on top. Dude, <laughs> Just take a bite, bro. <laughs> Red melon. Bro, just bite. Eat it once. We should have. We we need to bring out a melon dessert for Midway, right? Red melon, because that's his meme. We should literally have red melon prepared here too. Yeah, he just bald. He hasn't even eaten yet. Take a bite, bro. Whoa. Oh shit. Shinohaki. <laughs> Backing down. What? Yeah. Yeah. Keep cooking. Yeah. Combination. There's a lot of different ingredients coming together. The harmony, the soup. Don't you dare disrespect this. Same with cooking dish. Damn, that's a golden spoon. It's gonna blow his mind. <laughs> Bro, his eyes, what's going on? <laughs> Master Chef Shuna. Look how proud Shion looks. I get your analogy, Shuna.
Wait till he takes a bite of the fucking steak, bro. He had a little tiny bit of soup and he's fucking popping off. Oh my god. Again, it's like going back to the caveman. Imagine you had a time machine and you went back to the Oonga Boonga caveman era. And you gave him Mountain Dew Baja Blast. One sip, it'll send him into shock. Yeah, this is called cooking. You've been just eating ingredients so far. <laughs> Every other dish is like a different nation. We're all allies and we're all supposed to help eat. Interesting way of doing analogy here, but hey, it makes sense. Damn! Bruma's getting thrown under the bus, bro. We got a steak and a fine fucking... Uh, what is this? Like clams and fish dish. And Bruman is just a fucking bread, man. This shitty ass bread compared to the steak? Okay. It all comes together. Shuna is cooking on another level right now. Good shit, Shuna. It made them understand. Yeah. Oh! Yo! Yo, you see that? Hero! Hero! Scarlet Pond! These two right over here found them! <laughs> oh. Hmm? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, but it's not as if you can mix just anything together. Do be careful. Oh, it's straight up just a fucking jab at Shion. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, but like, it does sound like a jab because of her master. She just fucking mixes all shit together. It tastes good, but it looks disgusting. That looks so good. All the utensils really are gold. <laughs> Not really. Bro, just eat some. Red melon. <laughs> Benny, your long lost brother is in the same room with you that showed up as an Easter egg a couple minutes ago, but I have yet to see you greet them. Isn't this kind of fucked up? Bro, like. Like. We got to see them, but there's no interactions, no nothing. We <laughs> just OVAs and movie characters just kind of showing in the background, and that's it. Oh, you see that? Milim's ahoge. It turned into a heart there. Oh. Hmm? Dude, I love how that Rotso family lolly girl just showed up. In, got sushi without wasabi. No one makes any comments. She's just sneaking in, just enjoying her time. And I, I, I like it, but it's just like, damn. She really just snuck in, huh? Nobody even knows. Day of the festival. <laughs> what the fuck is this mustache? You know this mustache is fucking built into this jacket right now, bro. Yeah. Okay. Three tries. Yeah, everyone can live here in harmony. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Like, couple days the festival. Yeah, kind of, I guess. That would be really brutal if you did. We will annihilate you. Megido! 
一切容赦はしない Don't fuck around. というのも本音だが商人や冒険者<笑> I wish the mustache kind of like transition together It would be funny if he still had a mustache here ここに集った商人や冒険者の皆さん俺はあなた方に手を出さないと誓う職を探しているなら移住を検討してみてほしい基本的に我が称するものであり発言の自由も認めるし職業選択の自由も Again, like, I love Masayuki, but like, dude, like, these three are just. <sighs> I fucking hate them. And also, was this shock from the revelation of the Demon Lord shit? Because, like, they don't know who Rimuru is. They don't. They just think that he's like a nice dude that just showed up because she's his friend. But it's like, yeah, I'm a ruler of this nation, I'm also a Demon Lord. <laughs> the teacher is like, what? I thought that Yuki might have like told them or something, but it was a secret until now, huh? And also, I fucking hate these. I hate these lackeys, man. These, these lackeys are low-key really annoying. <laughs> what does she think? I don't know. There's like no reaction. It's just dead eyes. Does she think that there's possibilities of us having you know, peace together? Is she, is she's out here to scope, you know, what Jura Tempest and Rimuru is really like. But like, what's going on in her head? What is going? What is she thinking? Can we be allies? What are you thinking about? And, and that's today's episode of the eve before the festival and in the beginning i was a bit upset because like man i wanted the budokai tenkaichi shit but what i didn't realize is this is a great opportunity to meet all the different leaders and get them to know about how we interact with others and it was pretty cool right it was fucking sick the sashimi thing was a master course hakuro doing you know omakase with his daughter was really nice hinata being a little bit of a baby can't enjoy a bit of wasabi. Funny as all hell. Yuki, fuck you. Thadion Dynasty, right? This lady here, the Heavenly Empress. So it's looking like she's pretty, pretty fucking strong, man. And she shuts down Gazel immediately. She's probably one of the most beautiful characters in Tensor so far. Maybe there's a little bit of a bias because itself. And I'm surprised that. What if the mental interference didn't happen? Right? As in, the Empress saw through Rimuru's mind. And what was Rimuru thinking? Erif. Erif. Even thinking about the contents that exist in Rimuru's hard drive that apparently got disposed of thanks to, you know, his friend. But like, if, if, imagine if she realized that he was thinking about and lived like, oh no! Oh no, right? That's dangerous, but hey, Raphael fucking clutch for us. Other than that, like, the Rotso family, Maria Bell here, just casually chilling, just slid in, enjoying sushi. And at the end, like, she seemed to have, like, a very dead eye. She seems kind of disinterested, but maybe she's also thinking that, hmm, maybe what he's saying, a future piece, there, there, there might be something around it. Shuna had a master course in explaining what the purpose of the dishes were and related to basically what we're doing here, right? Not a single dish stands out by itself, but together working in harmony, which, you know, relates to the relationship we're trying to have here with the festival and creating diplomacy and alliances. Shuna really carried. <laughs> there are some funny moments here with the revelation that Rimuru is a demon lord. <laughs> the kids being in shock. And now, the actual <clears throat> tournament should happen. And I swear to God, if they fucking stall this next week, that'll be on another level of masterful stallness. But hey, that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.